Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be live swatching and reviewing this new peach palette collection from IBD Beauty. So they did send me their regular nail polish collection and then also this collection just in the gel form. So I do want to do kind of a gel wear test of those gel polishes. But just for the swatch video, I wanted to swatch the regular polish because it's easier to swatch and all the colors are the same in the gel form. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into the swatches. This first shade is called Baked to Perfection. And this one is just a little bit sheer and streaky. So definitely gonna need a second coat. Not sure about a third yet, but maybe. Also, since I've never used any of these polishes before, I really do like their brush. It's a very nice shape. It's a little bit wider. I do appreciate a wider brush. They are some of my favorites. So yeah, I really like the brush on these polishes. And yeah, so there is the first coat of Baked to Perfection. Here's the second coat. And one thing I will say is that the polish did dry super fast. So even though it is a little bit sheer and streaky, it did dry really fast. So you're not waiting around for the coats to dry before you apply the next one. And I am doing a little bit of a thicker second coat. And I still think I will do a third just because you can really see on my ring finger and even my middle finger. There are just a few patches of spots where you can see down to my nail. But I think it is also because it is a brand new polish, so the formula is a little bit thinner. So as the polish gets older, the formula will thicken up and then it will only need two coats. But there is two coats of Baked to Perfection. So here is the third coat of Baked to Perfection. And this one is a really pretty color. And pretty much every color I've seen a brand do like this, a very pale pink, it really does usually require three coats, especially that first time, just because I don't know, sometimes pastels are hard to get perfectly smooth and not streaky. But yeah, this one's really, really pretty. So there is three coats of Baked to Perfection. This one is called Pinkies and Cream, and this is a peach shade with some darker peachy shimmer in there. Really pretty. Excellent formula on this one. Really easy to work with. Again, I really like the brush on these polishes. So really nice to work with. This one is just a little bit sheer, but the formula is really nice. So there is the first coat of Pinkies and Cream. Here is the second coat of Pinkies and Cream. And it looks like it covers completely in two. I might do a third. Let me just see how it looks on this, these other nails. Yeah, I think I'll definitely do a third coat, but I definitely think that it's not a big deal that I'm doing three coats because I am doing thin coats. They dry super, super fast. So by the time you're done with your other hand, you'll be ready to do the third coat. But there's two coats of pinkies and cream. So here is the third coat of Pinkies and Cream. This one does cover completely in three. Really gorgeous color, really pretty for the rest of spring going into summer, especially with that shimmer in there. That's going to be really pretty in the sunlight. Overall, really pretty polish. Great formula to work with. So yeah, there's three coats. This shade is called Lush Blush. And this is a really pretty basic pink polish, but pretty nonetheless. It's a little bit sheer on the first coat, but I am thinking that two coats will make it completely opaque, but if we have to do three, we'll do three. This color is really pretty. Really nice formula, just a little bit sheer. So there is the first coat of Lush Blush. Here is the second coat of Lush Blush. 
And this one does cover completely in two coats. Really great formula, easy to work with. Dry super fast too. And just an overall really pretty color. So there is two coats of Lush Blush. This shade is called Concealed with a Kiss. This one is a darker bright pink, if that makes any sense. Really pretty. I think I definitely have a shade like this in my collection, so I can't say that this one is terribly unique, but I still do think it is really pretty. Formula is just a little bit sheer, so we'll see if we need three coats, but yeah, there's the first coat of Concealed with a Kiss. Here's the second coat of Concealed with a Kiss, and I think this one does cover completely in two coats. I can't see any of my nail line or anything, so yeah. And like I said, because some of these polishes are sheer, if you do need three coats, they dry incredibly fast. So it's not like you're waiting around forever to do three coats. You'd be able to do them really quickly. And I also love how shiny these dry, even though I'd always apply a top coat after I do a manicure. They are super shiny. So there is two coats of Concealed with a Kiss. This polish is called Stole Your Mandarin. And this is a more neutral, peachy toned color. Again, a little bit sheer of a formula. But again, I am also doing thin coats. And it does dry super fast, so I'm not really concerned. Even if I do have to do three coats. This is a really pretty color, by the way. I really like this one. So there's the first coat. So here's the second coat of Stole Your Mandarin. And I do think this one covers completely in two. Super easy to work with. Again, I really love the brush on these. Makes the polish really easy to work with and apply on your nail. Yeah, this one's really pretty. So there is two coats of Stole Your Mandarin. This one is called Glow Up, and this is such a gorgeous neon, very, very bright. Won't need a white base or anything to make this one even more neon. It's super, super bright. There's a fuzzy in there. It makes me angry. <laughs> I don't even know where they come from, because I don't use cotton balls. I use, like, cotton pads to remove my nail polish, but maybe they, they like, have fuzzies, I guess. Kind of irritating. Side note, anyway, <laughs> this one is really bright and pretty, so there is the first coat of Glow Up. So here is the second coat of Glow Up, and yeah, this one is completely opaque in two coats, super bright and super neon, gonna be perfect for summer. I love bright shades like this, I feel like they help make me look more tan because I'm super pale. <laughs> So there is two coats. This one is called Peach Better Have My Money. This is a really bright peachy orange color with a ton of shimmer in there. You can see it's very glittery, really pretty. Gonna look really awesome in the sun for the summer. bit sheer but I think it will be completely opaque in two coats so there is the first coat so for some reason my camera didn't record me applying the second coat but it was completely opaque in two coats I predicted this because a lot of times when polishes have a lot of glitter even if they're sheer on the first coat the glitter will build up and layer nicely so that it will be completely opaque in two coats I also said that this is a really fun bright color for summer can't remember what else I said, kind of irritated with my camera right now, um, so sorry about that, but yeah, completely opaque in two coats, so there is two coats of Peach Better Have My Money. Last but not least, the final shade in this collection is called 
Tame Saw Contoured. <laughs> kind of a funny name. This one is more of like a coppery glitter polish. Definitely has some larger silver glitters in there. Really pretty polish. I love anything sparkly for summer just because it looks amazing in the sun. So here is the first coat. And here is the second coat. This one does cover completely in two coats. Mainly because it is just so super glittery. It has a lot of dimension. Really pretty. Again, there's a fuzzy, really annoying. <laughs> and so yeah, there it is. Came Saw Contoured. Really pretty. So that was it for my live swatch and review video for the Peach Palette Collection from IBD Beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this collection overall and what your favorite shade was in the collection. I'm interested to know. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.